America, how are we doing today? We are finishing the year, well, continuing the uh, solar install. And this is not a how-to video, it's just showing you what I was doing, okay? It's not a how-to, because I really don't know how to do this. <laughs> uh, I, I'm good at mounting the stuff, but as far as wiring it all up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna seek uh, advice from somebody, uh, get a solar, solar expert out here to wire it up right. But, um, <clears throat> so what I've got here so far, I've got, uh, this panel is completely done. This one's done on this side, but it's not bolted down on the other side yet. I gotta take the ladder around over there to finish that up. What I've been doing here is, oh, if you can see this or not, um, yeah, right here. Okay, these are those um, angle brackets that I had made. They're uh, five and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide by six and a half, or six inches, okay? So six by nine, and then they bend it at the three and a half mark, okay? So anyway, uh, got all that done from that uh, welder friend of mine up there in Fort Worth. Went over there yesterday and get that done. Brought these back today and uh, been bolting them on. Now this is stainless. And when we were up there, he was talking about, I said, man, it's gonna be fun drilling all these holes. And he goes, well, I got a punch. I went, oh, great. So he punched the holes for me just right for these, uh, these bolts that I've been using uh, right up here, these little, uh, little one inch bolts. So, um, he punched the holes through there, so all I'm having to do is drill through this aluminum right here. And then on as far as on the roof here, let's get up real nice and close here. Well, let's angle you down. That ain't doing it. How are you going to do this? There we go. All right, see right here? Let's get you not doing a very good job controlling my camera today. <laughs> all right, what I've got here is on the, on the metal barn over here, when they built the barn, the sheet metal screws that go in there, self-tapping sheet metal screws, that attach the skin to the frame well there's a whole bunch of them left over and i put them in a little coffee can and i've kept them all these years but i'd use them somewhere along the line either putting more sheet sheet, uh, sheet metal up or something anyway it worked out just right see these rivets now this is an aluminum skin on the top i thought it was stainless steel but it's aluminum and uh the, the channel inside i think is aluminum too and then this skin out here is stainless all the way down to the side but anyway, it drills fairly easy, so uh, stainless is hard to drill. Um, but I, instead of drilling through all that stuff, I've just been drilling through the, uh, the rivets, the aluminum rivets. So, uh, and it, just dumb luck that when he had, when he punched these in, he asked me where he wanted these. And I said, oh, I don't know, just an inch down and an inch out, you know. So an inch over and an inch down, an inch over and an inch out, you know. And that's where he put them. Well, wouldn't you know they were just perfect for distancing between the two here <laughs> two, every, every every other rivet is the same distance as these screws here so that worked out great uh, and then after I drill the rivet out um, I put the self-tapping screw in I screw that in to make a thread and then I screw it back out then I get my uh, die core this is your, your die core lap sealant I get some of that and I squirt just a little bit down in the hole and I put a little on the uh, Where's another screw out here? There we go. Now these screws, if you don't know, they have a little rubber washer right here on the inside. There's, there, there's a screw head and basically a screw washer built in all, all together. And then there's a rubber um, uh, washer right there. So when I'm screwing these down in there, it's pushing that sealant down in that hole. So sealing that pretty darn good. But then I put just a little bit of extra around on that. Well, don't have enough hands. But anyway, I put, just a little bit of extra right where that seal is or that that washer is so it kind of squishes it down and makes this mushroom so i don't have to go along with this and just make this big old mess of blob you know uh, and i'm pretty sure it will seal good so with that that's the brackets and just there's not even mounted on the other side and they're just solid as can be so um i was worried being that this metal was this high that they would the wind would make them you know flutter back and forth that they would shake shimmy back and forth but I don't think they're going to do that. So uh, all's good. Now uh, I'm going to put another one over here, and then up over the solar, uh, the the uh, satellite TV is. I'm going to take that off and put one up there. So I'll have four of them up here. Now um, by the time you guys see this video, I will probably already have it all mount mounted and wired and hooked up. But uh, just in case, <laughs> um, 300, 300, 300, 300. It's 1,200 watts, and um, I think this cable can do like 30 amps, and I think each two of these solar panels is close to 30 amps, uh, you know, 15 each or something like that, because they're 300 watts and all that. Anyway, I don't know enough about the electrical part of this, so that's why I'm going to um, 
uh, find it, find an expert on this. And there's a few um, uh, solar installers around the Dallas Fort Worth area that put solar on, on roofs and stuff on, on residential. And I think I can call them and say, hey, if I drove, drove my bus up there, would you uh, wire the thing up for me? I'll have all the wires run, just hook them up right. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna need to put these two together in parallel series, I can never keep the two straight, run one wire down to the batteries or to the charge controller, and then the other two run another wire down. So there's not all four panels going through one little wire. I think that's the wise choice, but I don't know. That's why I want to get uh, experts on this. So with that, uh, that's our video for today. We're just doing solar and uh, kind of an update on what I've been up to. Um, uh, Got to get inside and do got real windy today <laughs> it's supposed to rain tomorrow next day it's supposed to rain the next day two days from now and i think i'll do a lot of indoor work on it I'll do that the tv stuff and all that kind of stuff then so with that y'all good be good ciao take care Bye.